Hey everybody, this is Garrett with Earth and Time, and today I'm coming to you from the Pacific Coast, specifically from San Pedro area, just outside of Los Angeles, where along the coast here, there was a major landslide that took place that wiped out a whole community. And we're gonna take a look at that, talk about the geology behind what is known as Sunken City. Let's get to it. Behind me are the ruins of what used to be part of a town here, or part of the greater San Pedro area. And it was actually a community that was right along the cliffs here. And in 1929, the land began to shift, so much so that pipes burst, homes started sliding out in the ocean, roads slid out in the ocean, as well as even train tracks. If I zoom into this area, what you can see on the far side, if I can get my finger over here, is you can actually see how the bedding dips down towards the ocean. Now, this along with water and the fact we're in what's called the Monterey Formation, which is mainly a bunch of fine grain sands and muds, means that you have the perfect setup if you add a little bit of water for landslides. Before we get too far, let's talk a little bit about what are landslides, how do they work, and then let's come back here and, and revisit Sunken City. So what is a landslide? A landslide is a mass of movement of materials such as rock, earth, or debris down a slope. A lot of times geologists just call these slope failures, and they're really a result of gravity acting on weaknesses that are within the earth. These events can take long periods of time or can happen fairly rapidly. Like in this video, it's somewhere in between where you're looking at days of time of this slope starting to fail. Some happen within minutes or hours, some take years. All landslides have some common features like we can see in this USGS picture. And those are things like the main scarp or, or the head area, the very top or where the detachment takes place of the landslide. And it usually has this semi half moon or U shape. And you'll notice there's a rotation that occurs with all of it. Eventually you end up with, with what at the very end is known as the toe, which is where the slide continues on and runs out and eventually stops. There are different types of landslides or slope failures from rock falls to things like the translational slide we see here. And this translational slide may be more similar to what we're actually seeing here at Sunken City, where you have a stratigraphy dipping towards the ocean and the detachments taking place along that dipping stratigraphy. From this aerial view from Google Maps, you can see where the head scarp would be at, and you can get an idea about the chaotic nature of what one of these landslides looks like. Now that we've learned about these landslides, let's take a closer look at the Sunken City landslide again. So now that we've talked about what are landslides, let's also talk a little bit about the Monterey Formation. The Monterey Formation is named after, of course, Monterey, California, which is north of here, and basically it's an ancient marine deposit or ocean deposit and you can see there's the modern ocean and these rocks were once deposited in the ocean and then were raised up here due to the faulting in the area specifically associated with the san andreas fault which is a strike slip fault in this case and unfortunately for the residents here in san pedro the monterey formation is actually dipping down towards the ocean which means that you actually have the bedding planes or the slip surfaces dipping <laughs> towards the Pacific, which is a recipe for disaster when you think about adding things like water. And again, you can see how those beds are dipping towards the ocean on the other side of where I'm at. Now, the other thing to point out are the colors here. So we see that lighter band of color in there. Those are some sandstone beds related to some what we call turbidite deposits, basically sand that's getting out in the ocean and getting deposited. But those darker colors that you see on either side of it, those are all related to mudstones and finer grain sandstones. And just think about what happens when, if you go somewhere and there's mud, I'm sure everybody's put their foot in mud and slipped in mud a little bit. Geology acts a similar way, whereas if you get some of these units wet, they end up having an easier time slipping. It doesn't mean they're going to, but it does mean that much like when your foot hits mud, you slip a little bit or slip maybe a lot, these rocks can do the exact same thing when you start adding in water, especially things like groundwater, uh, water that's, that's seeping in underneath the surface. It's pretty crazy to think about what this landslide would have been like. Now, it was a slow moving landslide for the most part. And I say slow moving, it moved about a foot or just under a foot a year. They said about 11 inches. 
Before I get too far away from this point, I do want to point out down below, we can still see even in the deeper sections of the Monterey, how the beds are dipping down towards the ocean. And that's actually what we're seeing are some of those beds dipping up, which tells me there's probably a fault somewhere out in the water there as well as probably a fault behind me in between those two faults where they're stepping over or popping this whole region up. Pretty interesting story and pretty interesting geology in this place. And not to mention, it's absolutely stunning sitting here at the Pacific Ocean looking at this view. Now, if I zoom in and we look way out in the distance, that's actually Catalina Island that's out there. We can just faintly see with all the, the sea mist and haze. There is something absolutely mesmerizing about watching these waves crash. Now, these waves are, of course, helping with the erosion here. Not only do you have this whole area on the Monterey Formation slowly slipping towards the ocean, you actually have the waves helping to erode this cliff face and undercut it as well, which means that this whole area is just going to continue to subside and subside and subside. All right, let's work to the other side or the north side. So I started here on the south side of Sunken City. Let's go to the north side and see what we can see. All right, so I've moved to the other side now. What I can see is I can see where the road goes and then drops off just on the other side of this tree. There is a park that sits right here against this area and there's actually a, a lighthouse here and I believe it's called the Furman Lighthouse that's here and it's unfortunately closed today. But this park does sit right along that same cliff face. We'll go take a look at that. Well, I found some little friends on my way. Hi, little squirrels. And they're munching on the figs that fell down. Hello, guy. Okay, I'm out here to talk about the geology, but I'm totally distracted by the wildlife out here. I don't know what all these little squirrels are. If anybody knows what kinds of squirrels these are, I, they're really cute. And these look, there's babies, there's big ones, they're munching on the grass, they're munching on the figs that are growing naturally along the cliff face here. But they are super little cute guys and gals. Hi. Well, with the little squirrels as a backdrop, I was able to work my way down around a corner here and actually take a closer look at the Monterey Formation. And again, look at those dips and look at how fine grain this material is. In fact, it's so fine grain that all these little ground squirrels are having a, a great time making little homes in it. Okay, so I found a place to come into this area. Just have to stay away from the cliffs. Some of the locals told me that you come over here and, and take a look. Um, just be careful and you'll see signs posted to stay away from the cliff faces over there. Now, I will point out, these are some pretty old trees that are still standing here. So this park that I'm actually walking on, I feel pretty safe on. I don't think this is gonna slip anytime soon. These are some really old and majestic trees. What is cool is if I look behind me and I look down on the ground, I'm actually on an old road that used to run right along the coast here. And you can imagine back in the 1920s, these, you know, old, I don't know, model T Fords or old cars rumbling around along the Pacific coast here until, until this whole section in front of us fell down towards the ocean. And here you go, a nice view of what has become known as Sunken City. I'm literally standing at the edge of the road that used to run through here. And you can just see how this whole section has just dropped off down into the ocean. And you can actually see some people down there for scale to get an idea about just how big this landslide is. We talked about the idea of how landslides look in a in kind of a map view or even on a view looking up on a hill. You get what we call this kind of shell shape or, or half horseshoe or moon shape to a crescent shape to it. And that's exactly what you can see here. You can actually see that crescent shape come over and around over to the side. So you can see how this whole section just slumped down 
because of that moisture that was introduced into this part of the Monterey formation. Now, there's probably some other things going on, maybe some inherent fractures or weaknesses, so all just slid down into the ocean. This is a nice view of the Monterey outcrop from a different point of view. So these beds are actually dipping away from us now, and you can see how they're pretty fine grained. We don't see these big cliff formers. We see a bunch of smaller banding there. Now all that smaller banding is probably some fine grain sandstones in there or siltstones, but most of what we're seeing is actually made up of what we call mudstone. And again, this was all deposited out deeper out in the ocean. It was popped up and brought in here by the faults here. Pretty fascinating story as well about raising the ocean up onto this peninsula and then of course it collapsing back down and being reclaimed by the ocean. Along this road, if I look to my right, it looks like you have the remnants of where there were a couple houses or maybe a house, a big house or a couple houses that would have been right here next to the sinkhole. And I would imagine maybe there were more houses along here. In fact, I believe I read that there were two houses that, that fell down during this, if I remember correctly. If anybody else has that information, please post it down below in the comments to help us all learn. I imagine these homeowners weren't too happy as the world started sliding underneath them. And with the amazing views they had of the Pacific Ocean going out towards Catalina Island, I bet they were very sad they had to leave this spot. But I bet in another moment, they were very happy they eventually left this spot, knowing that you had this large landslide next to you. and this earth is still continuing to move. So we haven't seen a lot of movement maybe recently here because we can see there's some stabilized palm trees here, but this whole area is destined to continue to erode away down into the Pacific Ocean. There are a couple major geologic hazards that occur here in California. One, of course, is earthquakes, right? Those are the big ones. There's lots of earthquakes here. Uh, everybody's familiar with the San Andreas Fault. The other one are these landslides. And these landslides have been on the news a lot more recently, and that's because of all the development in the area, uh, the changes in weather patterns. You get a lot of this moisture coming in, and it creates these zones of weakness. And depending on the type of geology that you have, a lot of it along the coast here are these old marine surfaces and these marine muds and fine grained sandstones. So they're all eventually going to slump down just like this one. Now, this may not be in our lifetime, but in several lifetimes, I imagine a lot of this portion of the coast is look, going to look a lot different in the next hundred years because of the erosion and because of the changing in weather patterns, as well as because you have this Monterey formation dipping down towards the ocean here. You have all those pieces put together to create a sunken city. All right, with sunken city in the background, thank you all for joining me today to learn about this really interesting story and about landslides and about how this area of California is continually being modified through the geology that's here. Really fascinating story, and one that I think we'll continue to hear playing out up and down the coastline here forever. So, with that being said, if you learned something new, you found this fascinating, please subscribe to the channel. If you know anything else about this and you wanna share some stories from Sunken City, share some stories or rumors you heard or, or something I missed, please share that down below as well. If you did learn something, also give this thing a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps these videos get views and helps my channel. So I appreciate you all. I will see you all in the next adventure. Take care.